In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the most amazing surrealism images by using a few techniques in Photopea to layer together a, a number of different images together and, and use a few little techniques to remove some of the backgrounds of some and add some adjustment layers to others. But in the end, you will get something that looks pretty cool. So here's one that I made. Here's another one that I've made. Um, and just before I get started, I want to very quickly show you what I've done. Okay. In this one, I took a photograph of the sky, of my husband's arms, a selfie of my lips, and I found a grid on the internet. I added two different adjustment layers to these images here, one that's more yellow and one that's more blue, and I didn't add anything to my lips. They're my natural lips. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, you need some photographs. So you need to actually take some photographs of things, and my top tip would be to try and take photographs that have quite a clear background so that you can easily delete the background, okay? There's lots of ways you can get rid of the background. I'm gonna show you the easiest and simplest way to do it, okay? The second thing you need are other images, things that are surreal, things that you can't take photographs of so easily. I live miles away from, a, from the sea. I can't take a photograph of a wave easily. Find things that are surreal that you want to put into your surrealist image. Okay, I'm going to go to open. I've got a collection of photographs that I want to edit together. Oh, look, there's my lips. Ooh. Um, the first one is a picture of me, um, which is there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add an adjustment layer to this because I want it to start looking unreal. So I'm going to add a photo filter, that one. It's always set to this orange, uh, which is not too bad, but I think I want more of a blue. Um, and you can see there it's now gone quite blue and you can make it stronger or dark, uh, lighter I'm thinking probably around there okay right at this point I'm going to remove the background I have purposely chosen an image that has a nice clear background one that hasn't got complicated things in the background I would really strongly advise you to do that on this first tutorial okay this basics tutorial because what i'm going to use which is the magic wand tool which is the fourth tool down on the left hand side here if you click and drag quite often it's set to object selection click and drag in there you'll find the magic wand tool you'll be able to select whole chunks of colors and delete them easily okay if it's a complicated background you're not going to be able to do it as easily and i want you to i want to keep it simple as it can be for this particular tutorial okay then you just simply click on it and you can see there that it's taken quite a lot actually that background selected it and i simply press delete on my keyboard and it's gone now it has left this bit i could use the magic wand tool again to select it and i've just deleted it but it's still leaving a little bit okay so you should be able to use your eraser tool if you have any trouble erasing maybe it won't let you erase go up to select and deselect it could have a little selection on there from when you use the magic wand tool that can happen and you'll be there trying to erase something and it's not letting you okay so if that happens go to select deselect and then you should be able to select get your eraser tool and delete now i'm happy with that that's gone right i'm going to open and place a surreal object on top of my face and i've got these bananas that i took and i purposely took this photograph on a worktop which was a clear background i was really careful to, to keep it nice and simple in the background so that i could use that magic wand tool easily so i'm going to just select the magic wand tool again right at this point i just want to tell you something about tolerance with the magic wand tool so how the magic wand tool works is that it selects chunks of colors that are similar and are nearby if you lower the tolerance down then it's going to only select a few shades of that colour. So can you see where the white starts blending into a grey as it goes across? It's not picking that up now because I've lowered my tolerance down. If I make it too high, 40, um, 40 actually is not too bad, but if I made it too high, it would start picking up some of the other colours like the, the browns, um, in the bananas and it would start deleting those and we don't want that to happen so you've got to toggle the tolerance and make it 
as perfect as it can be. But once you're, you're happy, you can delete chunks. Oh, smart object must be rasterized first. Right. You go to layer, rasterize, and it will allow you to select things and delete. So delete that, delete that. Again, you could maybe start using your um, eraser tool if you wanted to. But I'm just going to delete as much as I can. Right, I'm going to select that layer, select the pointer tool. Ooh. See, it's doing it. Right, I've just selected the layer, selected the pointer tool, but it's 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 taking a little bit of a selection that is still active for my magic wand. Go to uh, select, deselect, and now you can select the full the full layer. Okay. Well, I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger because I actually want it to be surreal. Now, bananas are not that big, and I'm placing them over my face. I don't want to see my face at all. I just want to see the bananas. Now, to finish this off, I want some sort of background. So I'm going to go to File, Open and Place. And I'm going to find a suitable background. I took lots of pictures. Um, I've got some pictures of sky there. I've got some pictures of leaves. In fact, I might have a go at the leaves. Get the leaves on took these on a lovely walk on a nice summer's day last week right i'm going to drag that up make it a bit bigger so it fills the whole of that background and then i'm going to move it so that it goes and my layers panel down the side here goes below my face right i could leave it there or i could add an adjustment layer to that green i might do that so i'm going to go down to the adjustment layers um what could i do now could i do something crazy like a gradient map Ooh, that looks nice what would it look like if it was colorful oh now now we're getting somewhere right we are rocking now with surrealism there you go right so i've got my gradient map on top of my leaves so that it's only affecting what's below it okay happy with that i go to file export as a jpeg and i save it to my device okay have fun with this one it's going to be challenging but i believe in you guys i believe in you have a go